So today we're talking about TIGS 4.9 AB data analysis. And remember when we did this a couple of units back, we talked about all of these plots or these tables that we're going to talk about or refresh our minds today. Okay? We're going to talk about the frequency table, the dot plot, and the stem and leaf. And in order for us to do that, let's go back and revisit our vocabulary for this unit. So here we have first, what is data? Data is what? Numbers, words, observations, or measurements that are collected and recorded. Okay, numbers, words, observations, or measurements that are collected and recorded. Let's go ahead and let's write that down right here. Data is and then you're going to write that down. Data is number words observations or measurements that are collected and recorded. And collected and recorded just is a fancy way of saying they're put together on a certain place, right? Or a certain graph. For example, here, this is our data, and they have a frequency table, right? So let's go on to the next one. What is frequency? Frequency is? How many items how many times something happens, okay? So at the bottom, you should have some space. If you do not have space at the bottom of your paper, down here, then simply either find a space up here or up here and write frequency. Frequency is the amount of time something happens. Three thumbs up. All right, below we have the vocabulary term frequency table. And what does it say a frequency table is? A record of how many times a value is in data set. Okay, so a record of how many times a value in a data set occurs. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down right here where we have frequency table. So frequency table is a record you're going to write it right here frequency table is a record of how many times Something occurs, okay? So 
So frequency table is a record of how many times a value in a data set occurs. Meaning, how many times does that thing occur? For example, here, we have over here on the side what? We have dots, or we could call them markers, okay? We have the colors blue, red, green, and orange. Now, if we sit through here and we look for all the blue, it says that we should have six. So let's, let's count. We have one here, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So then we would write our frequency as how many times did it appear? Six times. Now let's look at the red. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many times does red appear? How many, the frequency would be then six. Let's talk about green. We have one, two, three, four, five. What is the frequency that these appear? Five. five. Let's talk about orange. We have one, two, three. So do you agree with this data set right here? Yes. Okay. In a minute, we will do this with our amounts of food in cups that we have on our paper. Here we have the amounts of food in cups that neighbors feed their dogs. So on a daily basis, I feed Pixie like a cup and a half. So I give her half in the morning, half at lunch, and half at dinner. Right? And these are the amounts of cups that she gets throughout the day. Now, so we just saw a frequency table. And a frequency table can be can you be used to, to show an amount? And it can be used for this, for example, what is your favorite color, okay? We could put either color or we could put whatever it is that we're talking about right here. And then we can split this one in half and we could put number and we could put the tally. So the, what, the example that we had right now had what colors? It had blue, orange, green, and red, right? Did it have anything else? No. Now, if we go back and look at that frequency table, we can see our numbers. We said that blue was 6, red was 6. Six, green was five, and orange was three. I know I wrote them out of order. So if we do that on here, our tally here would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could actually put the tally first Kind of like what I do when I ask you for breakfast. I put the tally first and then I sum it up and put a total count, okay? It's up here, I wrote it the opposite way first. So here I have three tally marks and then I have green and then I have red. That is a frequency table, right? And this is from the vocabulary example. Because in a minute, we're going to use the information that you see at the top in order to create one right here under this flap. All right, so let's get ready to do our frequency table down here. How would we set up our table? Okay, we could put it as food, 
But we could put what particularly? What are we talking about? Not just the food, the cups, right? Okay, food. But we do need a title for our table. Food for dogs and pups. We could say food for pixie. And then we could go down and one of them is going to be what? Cups. And then the other one is going to be a tally. And then the other one is going to be the number. Let's just put a number sign. All right, so let's look at the data set that we have up here. I have one half, one and one half. I have two, two and one half. I have one again, oops, not, not again, just one, and then I have half again, and then I have one and a half, then I have three, then I have two and a half, and then I have one and a half. What should I start off with? I the, half. the half. So let's put half a cup. And how many times does half a cup appear? Let's do one. Remember that is the, that goes along with the one, so we can't count it there, right? That one goes along with the cups, with the with the whole number, and then this one is by itself. So we have two so far, and I believe that's all we have. So we have one, two. So for now, we're just gonna do the tally, okay? What do we go on to? One. So let's write one. And it looks for all the data that includes one. Here's one, but it has a fraction. Here's one. And how many do we have? One. one. I'm going to put the tally. What do we go on to? One and one half. And what do we have? We have one, two, and three. three. So one, two, and three. What do we go on to? So let's look for a two. One is right there. And that's it, right? Everything else has a fraction or is above. So we have one. What do we go on to? Two and one half. Here we have one, two, two and one half. So two neighbors actually feed two cups and a half a day. And now we go on to three. Let's see. Three. That is one. Am I missing anything? Do you see that I've checked off all of my data? Yes? What am I missing? From my data. Uh, you see that I've checked off all my data? Yes. That way everything is accounted for, right? Okay, so now I go over and I complete my table. So here, how many did I have total? So I will write the number two. How many did I have total? One. And I would write the number one. How many did I have total? Three. I would write three. How many did I have total? One. How many did I have total? Three. And how many did I have total? One. All right. Easy? Yeah. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we know how to put stuff 
in a frequency table. Now, let's move on to a dot plot. What is a dot plot? So let's look at our vocabulary word. Here do we have our vocabulary information. A dot plot is A, data, a dot plot is a type of graph using dots to show how many times each data point happens. So let's write that down. A dot plot is a type, I'm sorry, graph. using dots to show how many times each data point happens. Now on here they use numbers, right? But we're going to continue using our information from the, our data from the example. Okay, so we're going to use, in order for us to make our dot plot, we're going to use this information from our vocabulary example. So it, what we're going to have to do is, here is my data plot, and underneath I'm going to write what? I'm sorry? The colors. Okay? So I'm going to write here, I'm going to write blue, I'm going to write orange, I'm going to write green, and I'm also going to write red. And from our example, we have counters, right? We had counters. Let's see. So we need to have a title and we need to call it counters. How many blue counters did we have? Six. So what am I going to do here? Okay, now listen. Sometimes you will have a key at the bottom. The key will tell you that each dot represents a certain number, like five or like 10. In this case, we can see that the dot will represent one. So it's important to always check this key because you never know if each dot will mean a different amount, right? So always, always, always check your key first. All right, here our key says that each dot is going to equal one. So therefore, how many dots am I going to put above blue? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many dots am I going to put above orange? One, two, three. Remember, where are we getting this information from? From our frequency table, right? Green. How many dots are we going to put above green? One, two, three, four, five. And how many dots are we going to put above red? One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Now, when you are in a testing mode and you're able to write on your paper, the first thing you should do is label each one of these. If you are not able to write on your paper, obviously, because you will be taking this, the exam on the computer, on your paper, you will make sure that you say A has so many blue, so many green, so many orange, and so many red. Okay? So you already have that information ready to go. Based on the information that we have up here about what neighbors feed their dogs, we can make a dot plot using this frequency table that we have. Okay, so let's construct a dot plot. And then we can say amount of cups neighbor's feed. Below, we're going to write what? Well, not yet. Down here, we're going to write the amount of cups. First, we start off with what? One half. one half. Then we start off with what? Then we go on to one. And then we go. For your donation. You're welcome. One and a half. And then we go on to two. And then we go on to two and a half. And then we go on to three. All right, how many dots will go in one half? Oh, what am I forgetting? The key. The key. We will make our key equal one dot equals one. All right, so half. Okay, so make your dot. Make your, make your uh, dot plot. Using your information, you make your dot. Can you wait just a minute, please? All right, half, one, two, one, one and a half is three, and two, and two and a half, God bless you, and three, is that easy? That's easy to construct, right? Yep. But it's also easy to tell what information you have. Correct? Okay. We'll go on after PE, then we'll add the stem and leaf plots.